Hey guys, Dave here. Today I bring you some docks that you should never attempt without having a spotter to help you out. On the left we have a dock that is very wide but has very little room in front. And on the right we have a dock that has a ton of space in front but practically no room to maneuver once you get in there. Both of these backs are not very common, especially the first one. Let's get on with it. So I want to talk about this level here. Now, uh, earlier on today, I uh, I made this, basically showing that if you have your truck parked in here and you crank it all the way to the left, uh, that one, that's this is what happens. Uh, basically, I need all this room, all this room to get into to get into this space. But here's the thing. I'm going to chop this off, wouldn't I? All right. Not necessarily. All right. There is some really clever ways to actually get into this space. All right. Here, let me show you. So let's just set up and just get our, our trailer in here. And then we can we can do a little, uh, little maneuvering. OK. Now, th it, this will not be easy. All right. One thing that you definitely have to do is get your trailer as close as possible to this area here. All right. This part right here, not this part, not here. All right, this, the very, very, very center of where the axles are, this needs to be basically hugging this guy. All right, so it doesn't matter how you set up as long as that's just, that's what you end up doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and point my steers straight and see what happens. If I need to get closer, I can, a little bit too much. All right, I'm gonna start jackknifing hard right now and I'm, I'm pretty close. Let's take a look. All right, uh, I would like to be closer, but I don't think I can. Okay, so. Let's carry on. What am, I do what am I doing? So I'm jackknifing right now. Let's go ahead and go a little slower. Let's start chasing. Hopefully by the time I'm done chasing, my truck, not done chasing, but basically this is the point I wanted to get to right here. Okay. Now I can't do anything else right now. If I, if I start jackknifing, the rear end's going to go in. If I start chasing, the front of the truck is going to hit this wall. Okay. So all it can do right now is just back up straight. Now it looks like I'm going to hit this back here. All right, all right. So to av to avoid doing that, I have to stop, obviously. So now I'm going to go hard left, stop, go hard right. Okay, all right. So now we need now I do need to. Uh, I think I need to go a little more. All right, yeah. Okay. I feel like sorry, I need I need to create more of an angle between the truck and between this truck and trailer in order for me to miss this guy over there i think i'm going to get away with it yes all right now I, all i can do now is just point my steers straight oh, otherwise i'm going to be hitting now obviously i'm not going to be getting in like this but this is very important that you do this all right i'm actually going to keep going back all the way all right before i hit that yeah, maybe a little bit actually hold on i need i need a little bit of room because i'm going to be turning off to the left here all right here let me just zoom out just a little bit this is actually, because uh, now that the trailer's in there, oh, uh, that's probably a bit too much. Okay, let's go off to the right. And you keep got, you got to keep looking at the back of your trailer. Ooh, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to chase hard, but straighten up once my, uh, just so the front end does not actually hit. All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. And right, right around here, now we do a hard jackknife. All right. It's just, we're going to be doing this little trick, all right? That'll actually keep the truck, the trailer heading back more and give me more room over here in the left so I, I can do some more pull, pull forwards. But keep an eye on the swing though. And there we go. So let's fully chase. Let's see if we, so far I haven't hit anything. I'm pretty proud of myself, to be honest with you. Actually, this is one of my better ones. This is my fourth attempt. And each attempt, I hit something. <laughs> But yes, oh, there we go. Okay, it allowed me to do that. Uh, so yes, that's one way. That's one way to do it. Uh, so just because it looks impossible, it may not be. But to be honest with you, in the real world, I would not attempt this at all. It is quite ri ridiculous. Anybody expecting you to get into that space. Uh, it's just that the pull forwards can be very handy. And knowing how to pull forward uh, the way I just did... Uh, well, you know, still don't do it. Okay, <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's it's a ridiculous pack. Um, I will leave it in the game. It's what one forty six. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones too. Like this one looks pretty impossible. 
uh, but it's not quite. You know, it's just basically you have one inch on each side, each side of the trailer. All right, so I recommend doing a straight pack. <laughs> uh, now the amount of room, the reason why I have this much room, all right, is because when I did when I did this, basically, this is the most room. I could have it up to here, but that's gonna be really hard to get to to manage, and it's it's hard enough as it is. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off for just one second. So I'm gonna, I think, if I start start turning right right, right around here, all right, I'm just gonna keep going. Again. This is a top-down view, and it's not realistic. Now, once the middle of my trailer gets to roughly around here, yeah, I need to, I, I need that to maintain there. All right. So what I'm going to do is cheat and get a little reversing going on to get a better angle. I get myself into 90 degrees, uh, and reminding you guys that this is only a game. All right. There really isn't any tires that can do some uh, damage. All right. So you just got to keep going. Ooh forward a little bit and all right now that we're pointing towards it i'm gonna make i'm gonna stop roughly around there hard right now we always got to drive just a little bit past it because every time you do a pull forward it ends up going past the space again and sets itself off better uh, i'm gonna try to go all the way up to the wall yeah it's very important that your truck is straight are we going to be able to make it I just gotta yes okay now i'm not quite straight look where i'm pointing towards i'm pointing towards the middle of the trailer right there right so i'm not very happy with that but i think that one inch that i do have might actually be enough oh sorry the controls are getting in the way right now let me zoom out all right there we go i think that if we just maintain that oh i'm not doing straight back anymore smallest little maneuvers I've literally backed up into a space just like this in the real world. Uh, again, I had all the room in the world in front of me, though. Okay, I'm going to interrupt here because I know a lot of people are going to be starting to comment on the fact that, like, if you back up that closely, how can you drop the trailer? How are you able to lower the landing gear? Well, okay, well, maybe lower your landing gear right at this particular point. Basically, you want to lower it right before... Well, you can't lower it. Maybe you got to get that crank handle out, and you maybe you just all you have to do is do a quarter of an inch, and then you can just keep backing up all the way, and you don't have to do any more cranking. All you have to do now is uh, get underneath the trailer you're parking up next to, and uh, pull the fifth wheel release, and you know disconnect your airlines, lower your airbags if you have them. Uh, to put all the weight on the landing gear and then you just drive out anyway i just needed to say that before i get a lot of comments saying how are you going to lower your landing gear all right let's get back to the game all right it's just that you basically have to be dead straight all the way back small little micro movements to the left and to the right oh nice. so far i haven't hit anything yet i might be just a quarter inch all right there we go done all right that's this video over and done with finally I hope you learned something. At least I hope that you learned that the pull forward is one of the most valuable things in your arsenal when it comes to backing up. I have a ton more videos dedicated to backing on my channel. All you have to do is go to my channel, click on the videos part, and just scroll through. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye-bye.